The first thing to know when you're thinking about how we study planets around other stars is that we never get to see the planets directly. The way that most planets have been found is we wait for the planet to pass in front of the star. And so when it passes in front of the star, it blocks some of the light from the star. We can see the star get a little bit fainter and a little bit brighter as it passes out from our point of view. And then based on that, we can infer, for example, the size of the planet. If it's a bigger planet, it'll block more light. In terms of understanding the properties of the planets, what we really would like to measure are their sizes, their masses, and if we put those two ideas together, therefore their density and maybe what they're made of. Are they made of dense things like rock, like the Earth? Or are they made of puffy things like gas, like Jupiter? The way that uh, astronomers learn about the mass of a planet is through the dance of the planet and the star. So think about it as if you were watching two dance partners on the dance floor, but one dance partner was 10 or 20 or 100,000 times heavier than the other one. But that, that heavier dance partner would still do -si do back and forth. And so we can study the light from the star, see that it's do -si doing back and forth, and we call that the wobble method or the Doppler method. That allows us to know that there's a planet there even if we don't see the planet. And it allows us to measure the mass of the planet because a heavier planet would cause the star to wobble more. Furthermore, we'd like to figure out the temperature of the planet. And fortunately, that's very easy. The temperature really is set by the distance from the star. And we can infer the distance of the star by measuring how long it takes the planet to go around in its orbit. So we've been able to measure the size and the mass and the temperature for thousands of worlds. And now we have a very good understanding of which of those planets are a little more like Earth, uh, both in terms of being rocky and being temperate, and which are really not like the Earth, maybe because they have a lot of gas or maybe because they're much, much, much hotter or much colder.